Hetter is six years old, and the nomadic life is the only one she's ever known. Her father, Michael Hetter, a Lap, or a Sami, is a reindeer herder in northern Norway. November 4th, and they are more than halfway through the three-month fall migration. This migration takes them to winter grazing grounds where lichen grows plentifully. Michael's wife, Inga Marie, has to organize the complex nomadic household. Jürgen is the family's hired hand. He is paid in money and reindeer, and one day he'll have a herd of his own. Michael Hetter has been at one time or another a mechanic, a cook, a farmer. He has traveled abroad. But it was to the demanding life of his Sami forebears that he chose to return. In northern Norway, about 3,000 Samis are involved in reindeer herding. The Hetta's fall migration is a trek inland from the Norwegian coast to Finnmark's plain. 350 kilometers. December 6th, after three months of watching and manipulating the herd 24 hours a day, they arrive at their winter home. Ten kilometers away is the town of Kautokaino, for 400 years a Sami settlement. For one week in March, Sami families bring their young children to the government boarding school. And the headers have come with Ellen Inga. This sociable week introduces young nomadic children to the unfamiliar environment of the school. Until recently, Sami culture had been belittled. The Sami language, even forbidden in the schoolyard. All this has changed. Now many teachers are Samis. And for the first three years, instruction is in the Sami language. Ellen's brother, Johan, knows what he wants to be, a herder. 
and her sister, Berit, wants to marry a herder someday. Their school curriculum does not prepare them for the herder's life. This they must learn by living it with their family. So every second week, the school allows them a four-day weekend at home. Commuting from school to home, from one world to another, has been made possible by the snowmobile, which has cut the sled journey of four days to one of less than 10 hours. For centuries, the Sami lived in northern isolation. Now, modern transportation and communication have brought them into frequent contact with Western Europe and the young generation lives in both worlds. Before the snowmobile, draft animals and skis were used to reach the herd. The Samis have been using skis for over 1,500 years. It's believed that they invented them. Bad weather, attacks by wolverines, eagles, and other animals, are an ever-present danger to the herd in winter and an ever-present concern for Michael and Jürgen. Today they are moving the herd to a better grazing area. When the lichen becomes covered with ice, the reindeer cannot get at it. Without help, they would starve. Complete herds have died because of ice-covered lichen. April. Reindeer skins are taken out of storage for the spring migration. The herd must be rounded up and controlled, for suddenly the animals crave the fresh green food on the coast. Jürgen attempts to encircle and restrain the restless herd. Working as a team, Michael and Inga Marie set up a tent a little distance from the house. Here they assemble all the equipment and supplies needed for the spring migration. The headers must reach the mountainous coast of northern Norway within three weeks to rendezvous with the Navy ferry. another reindeer herd, a larger one. To make sure the two herds do not mix, it is the Sami custom to allow the larger herd to pass first. The headers will have to stop and set up camp for a day. The 24-hour stopover will not be restful. They take turns watching the herd and slaughter a reindeer for fresh meat.
little Ellen Inga this day next year will be in boarding school. Until then, however, happy and secure in her nomadic life, she learns the traditional skills from her mother. How to soften and sew reindeer skin. How to dry senna grass to put in boots to keep the feet warm and dry. is one of the high points of the year. The enticing prospect of a carefree summer by the sea and mountains is almost within reach, just across the fjord. have special leave from school for the final lap of the spring migration. Before the Norwegian Navy supplied the ferry service, the herd swam across the fjord, even at its narrowest point, an exhausting and hazardous journey. Midnight, May 5th, they arrive on the peninsula where abundant grazing land and natural barriers will allow the reindeer to wander free for the summer. And for these three months, the Hettas will not have to worry about the herd. In their summer house, the Hedders are only eight kilometers from the village of Uxfjord, where they go in their boat to visit friends and shop.
Two weeks ago, Inga Marie lived in a tent and slaughtered a reindeer to make stew for supper, as her forefathers did 2,000 years ago. This morning, she shopped at a supermarket and returns in a motorboat to their modern summer home. Michael's herd of 400 animals supports his family comfortably. Scandinavians consider reindeer meat a delicacy, and a herder's yearly income is comparable to that of a professional man. But it is not a secure income. Bad weather or disease could wipe out his herd almost overnight. The headers use all resources available to increase their income. They pick and sell berries, catch and dry fish, carve and weave, and make reindeer skin clothing to be sold to a growing tourist trade. Working together, Michael and Inga Marie prepare the skins for the tourist market. Tanning with birch and willow bark preserves the leather. in increasing numbers are drawn to the North Cape, the most northerly point in Europe, to enjoy its rugged beauty, to photograph the midnight sun and the Samis. Michael enjoys meeting tourists and finding out about their strange ways. The Sami Institute, which represents the Samis of Norway, Sweden and Finland, sets quality standards to protect the profitable industry. In the fall, Jorgen's mother visits and helps to spot the reindeer scattered on the mountains. It's time to round them up and prepare for the fall migration. Marie has begun smoking meat for the three-month trek inland. Dressed in rainproof leather, Michael now spends his days on the mountains with Jürgen, gathering up the herd. Gradually the reindeer come down, a group here, a group there. Their number increased by 150 calves born during the spring and summer. The herd follows Inga Marie with the great grandmother lead animal into the corral.
there are still strays to be looked for. Once in the corral, a few animals are roped to be castrated as draft animals or to be slaughtered and sold as meat. are lassoed, and their ears given the heta markings. Every Sami child receives a number of reindeer at birth. Each child has a special marking for their own reindeer. that will lead them to the mainland. Michael and Jürgen follow. children have traveled by car with the supplies and camped on the other side of the mountain to wait for the herd to come over. Once again, the headers begin the three-month fall migration over the subarctic wilderness, whose moods are unpredictable. 
often cruel and destructive. But they know this environment intimately. One thing is certain, the trip will demand the utmost of them. In physical endurance, patience, and skill. 